Hello and welcome to Kingdom Maker. This is Simant 2020. So this video is cool because um, I keep kept having problems with stone. I kept running out uh, to do my building upgrades and I discovered a really cool way of farming. So in a previous video I showed you how to do a 25 um, citadel. So remember you can do a 25 quarry but the rewards are just a little bit less. And as far as I'm concerned, so you get these things which is cool. But as far as I'm concerned, I am the uh, benefit of having the, or sorry, as far as I'm concerned, the battles are like identical. And the setups are the same, so you might as well grab what gets you get better resources. So what I have here that I'm going to use is I have uh, three marshals. I have this one at the top. This is my best. Then you can see the second best and the third best. And they're all above level 25, so they all get that extra unit, which I end up putting ballistas for each one. Um, so I'm going to start here. So the trick is, is that, um, as I've showed before, you do want to do the battle, but you can kind of jump between battles, which is cool. So uh, what I'm going to do is get started with the first battle. Um, so if you go into the city first, you don't have to worry about the loading screen slowing you down, and then you just click on the flag, and then you can move the flag, no problem. So as my previous strategy, um, I do put these guys out here to the side with the uh, swordsman in front. Um, now you can see the buttons that I hit versus before where you just watch the replay. So this is live. Um, so I'm just going to advance everybody. And, uh, you know, they take out these guys in front, which is pretty cool. I can just destroy them. And then now I'm going to advance just the ballista. And what they're going to do is take out those four guys up there and then work on the gate. Now while this is going on, I can do another battle. So I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to speed him up just by a minute. So that he's about ready. So notice you can get to your armies by doing re reinforce, and you're going to see me do that a few times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the second battle with those guys, because these guys kind of got their thing going on. They got the start, which is nice, so that's good. So I'm going to do the next one, so I just got to find another citadel, which I thought I had some nearby. There's one. So remember, the first battle I just have everybody sitting and only the ballista advancing. I'm going to do the same thing with the second battle. Because there are different stages where you can kind of AFK the battle. Oops, I should have went to the city first, so I'm not perfect. I just started doing this recently, but uh, I get the idea. So yeah, I don't have as much time to get my units properly set up, but... Oh. So same idea, I'm just going to kill these guys here real quick. Get that up and rolling. I'm gonna put everybody on hold, advance the ballista, and then I'll come back in a few minutes. So that's number two, and then we're gonna do number three. There's another one. Now this is my weakest army, so they're definitely gonna have the longest heal time. But since they're going last, it's it's acceptable. Oh, do the city get in there. No, so it's time to flag it already selected. Alright, so we go. We go. go. Alright, same same thing. So three times the same start. And then every step is gonna be like the same thing three times, so it's not like I'm gonna be changing too much because obviously uh, I like the strategy, so I would only do the best one three times, not change it each time. Alright, here we go. So now the cool thing is, so I got that going on in three different places. However, I'm going to go back to the first one. And this is my best army, so they should be getting these things quicker. And I'm going to advance everybody. So this is close. I prefer um, these guys to be up there well before the gate breaks. But because I'm trying to do three at once, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to hold the swordsman, and then hold everybody else, and advance the ballista. Now I'm going to advance everybody, because those guys are getting close, and I want everybody to attack them. Alright, so now I'm going to hold everybody, because this battle is at another stopping point, And I'm going to go to the other one. This one I caught much much better than the last one. You can see the gate still has a bit of life left. And that's because these guys are, you know, a bit weaker and I was a little quicker, I guess. So 
So uh, I'm just waiting for these guys to break down the gates. Once they get in position, I hold all and then advance the ballista. And then like last time, the Axemen will come running. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, advance the swordsmen to make sure that the guys that are coming do not uh, attack my archers and such. But I'm going to wait until they get uh, down a little bit further. And then you can see the ballista actually switch targets too, which is cool. Alright, so once again, I'm going to hold everybody, advance the ballista, and now it's time to get to the third battle. Oops, a little lag. So battle number three. Once again, these guys are at a similar position as my second army. So I'm just going to pause it and skip this part instead of explaining it again. Alright, so we're back. I'm going to jump back to the first army. Now this one probably already killed the gate, uh, but I have everybody holding so that they didn't advance after they did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I get the ballista to advance. And this is just about timing, but yeah, you just like it right around there. So the ballista is going to advance first. Sometimes they'll be stuck on the gate, you just have to play around with it until you get it right. Then my swordsman, and then everybody else. So the object here is that we're going to get basically to the last and final part. And I still don't have the suspicious um, siege weapon damage, so I can't uh, do it perfectly. But it won't matter, it'll be fine, as you'll see. So these guys are all just on advance. Um, we're taking out, you know, obviously the archers in the tower, the catapult, and then we're going over to these guys. Now, since everybody's on advance, the ballista should retarget to the... Uh, Oh, they will because they killed the archers first in the keep and now they're going after the axemen. So I'm keeping everybody on advance at this point. Um, I'm just letting them do their thing. And once we take out the catapults, I'm going to hold everybody. And then it's time to go to the next battle. So I'm putting everybody on hold. These guys will do their thing. Now if you had the suspicious damage on the ballista, you can have these swordsmen advance now. But I don't, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. But in the meantime, let's go to the next battle. It's not going to slow me down um, by holding them until later. All right, so here's number two. Oops, I forgot I forgot to hold the ballista. As you can see, they kind of went in there and did their own thing. So don't forget to do that. My bad. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to make sure. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, damn it. Well, this is not going too well for this group. At least I lose another one. I'm just make sure I got everybody on advance except for the ballista. So yeah, don't forget to hold your ballista. Hold everybody when you're switching battles because you don't want things to go wrong. Like I did. So you can see when things go wrong. Not intentional, but hopefully it will be a lesson to be learned. Alright, now I got everybody on hold. Let's go to the third battle and hopefully I did not forget to hold the ballista there. I forgot to hold them here too. Oh, that's sad. Ugh. So yeah, this is gonna get a little bit more ugly than usual. funny before when I was practicing before making this video I uh, everything went fine but now I'm just choking and yeah the key error I made is after um or before I switched I, battles, I did not hold everybody. So as a result, the ballistas kept going. So I'm going to try again later. Um, I'm just going to pause this and then try to do it right. Um, but yeah, we'll have a intermission. All right, and we're back. So the mistake I made uh, was right after killing these guys, so everything was fine up to this point. I did this right. I did this right. 
I did this right, but I advanced this guy. And then once the gate broke down, he ran in. So after you hold everybody, do not advance the ballista. You want him to just to hang out there while you go do your other battles. So you can see that guy's home and healing. But as long as that ballista holds there, once uh, that gate breaks down, he's not going to go running in. Oh, this one's finally almost over. But yeah, so I'm going to pause it again and just show you um, the difference. So hang on. All right, so you can see um, he's about to break down the gate. So if you're in another battle and you're not watching this, or what I did before, um, the ballista ends up advancing and going on to fight more because I had him on advance. But now I have him on hold, so he ends up just going after another gate and doesn't try to win the battle by himself. So now the trick is to get him off of this gate. So it's just about timing, um, as I said before, so just practice it and then hopefully you get good at it. Which you can see I'm not 100% either, I don't think. No, clearly not. See if that works. There you go. I can see you switch targets. And then the battle is just the same. So um, I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, you know, if you do it right, you, you know, you're basically getting, uh, what is it, like 90,000 each hit. So three hits, 270,000 within, you know, 20, every 20, 25 minutes. Because the heal time I mean, for my first army was like six minutes. Uh, so because I screwed up, this is obviously not going to be your normal heal time, but, um, it's, you know, it's, should be around, you know, the first army, maybe five, five to seven minutes. I'm not on a capital. So if you're on a capital, obviously that's shorter. Um, second army is, is pushing around 10 minutes and third army is around 15 minutes is what it's been for me. Um, when I don't screw up. So there's that. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Click the bell if you want notifications of when I make new videos. Um, I'll be, I've will be i been playing this game for two months pretty heavily, and I'll be staying on this game for a while. So if you like stuff related to this game, you know, be sure to hit the notification because I'm trying to just post good videos such as this that are helpful. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, see ya.